Well, this is where you can get in trouble and you want the undo button really bad. Yes, and, and Thomas made a point earlier, and I, for those of you that like the keyboard shortcuts, control Z is the same as the undo button. Oh, is it? It is. I've forgotten that one. Okay, that's great. Well, we're going to uh, just play around and move some things. First of all, again, what we want to move has to be selected. So I'm going to select this address line, those three address lines. Here's where I'm going to show you the mini toolbar and shortcut keys. There's usually three or four different ways to do these things. So with something selected, if I place my pointer in that selection, I get a mini toolbar. It doesn't have cut, copy, paste on it, but I could bold this. I can change my font. I can change the color of the font. I can do a lot of things that, that would be ordinary for you to do when you have something selected. And that's a mini toolbar. It will disappear on its own. If it disappears and you want it back, you can right click on your selected area and you get your mini toolbar. When I right clicked, I also got a menu of other things that I can do. So my cut is on that toolbar or or on that menu, or it's on my home, and it's up here with cut. And you notice when I look at cut, it tells me that control X is my keyboard shortcut. So we've looked at four or five different ways that you can cut something. We're going to use, since I'm already here, we'll use the ribbon and the command cut. So cutting removes it. I'm going to paste it. I could paste it at the bottom of my document. So I'll do a control end. I'll hit a couple of enters. And I'll use that same method to paste it. And there it is. Well, not where I want it. So I can undo and back it goes where it was, almost. Took me a couple of clicks to get it back. It's still selected. Let's try copy, and let's use the keyboard. I'm going to hold Control. I'm going to touch C. Looks like nothing happened. That's because it just made a copy and it put it on the clipboard. I'm going to open up a brand new document. I'm going to show you that you could do it with the office button. You can come up here and click the office button. You can go to new. I guess we'll go through the whole thing and show you. And then I'll show you the shortcut because this drives me nuts. I'm glad I'm not the only one that that drives nuts. <laughs> and so then I have to click create. Get the new blank document. I'm going to close that and be back in my original document. If I hold Control on my keyboard and touch N as in new, isn't that a little bit easier? Oh, thank you. Control N and I have a new blank document. Just hit Enter a few times and I will paste. I'm going to use Control V as in victory for my paste command. Okay, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Control V doesn't equate to paste for me. But if you hit Control P, which would make more sense, that will send you off to the printer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can only use those keyboard letters for one one particular thing. So now we pasted it in the new document. And down here on your task pane, you will find that you can switch back to your original 
by finding whatever the name of your document is and switching back and forth between those documents. Very nice. You can cut or copy anything you want to from one document to another. The main idea here is that you don't retype anything 